take two, Christy. Alrighty. You've been a great help getting me through this class. Okay. Um, we did a pre-conference on the 8th, yeah. and um, we kind of completed this together, and you had given me um, quite a bit of information, and then we met on it a little bit more. Okay. And um, then I did the actual observation on the 10th, which was, today is the 12th, 11th, Tuesday, right? Wednesday. 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 Saw you doing um, some math um, with your second graders. How's the co-teaching going? Very well. Good. I like it. I enjoy it. I know you do. You're a good match with, <laughs> with your buddy. Yes. We work well together. Yes, you do. Um, well, I want to, I kind of want to talk a little bit about the observation. Okay. Um, a little background. You have been heavy into working with Kathy Richardson and her materials. Yes. Okay. You're liking that? Yes, I do. Okay. There's a lot of different activities and okay. things she brought to And kids are seem to be responding to those? Yes. Okay. Very well. Okay. Um, when I was looking at, when I was looking back over my observation notes and all that, I was looking at, um, is the standards card there? Yes. Yeah. I thought a strength for this particular observation was planning for instruction using data. Okay. And um, it's another sort, when we talked, I know in the last video we talked about um, data wall. Yes. So this could be a vehicle for a math data wall. Mm -hmm. I know you haven't decided quite, quite yet yeah. which area you want to pick on. Yes. Or definitely. pick to pick to move forward with it. So as you think about this activity, mm -hmm. um, it was small group. Yeah. Um, there were, I can't remember, um, 22. 22 kids and mm -hmm. then five of, five of those cherubs were on IEPs. Right. Um, I can't remember how many in that, there were five or six in the small group. Mm -hmm. But I did not at, when I first started, I didn't put like all special ed together. Right. I I just picked groups. We worked together. We they all had a job okay. to do, and so I wanted to see how that went first. Okay. Um, based off of kind of walking around, both um, Jackie and I walked around the room and listened and collected. You know, wrote some anecdotal notes on things on how we might do groups at the end of the week. Okay. All right. So based on <clears throat> based on the data that you did collect, mm -hmm. um, what what factual statements can you make about that data? Um, that uh, the majority of the students do understand the concept of ten to count on. Sure. Um, we did have a couple students who did not grasp that, and we had to pull them aside and do a lot more modeling okay. uh, one on one with them. Uh, they were not all IEP students, so when we plan for Friday in, in our groups, we'll probably do an intensive group for those kids who might need some reteaching of that 10 concept. Okay. So intensive group and, and the strategy you would use is reteaching. Right. Okay. Okay. When you reteach... Mm -hmm. Talk to me about, um, you don't do more of the same. No. What we're going to do is we're going to have um, papers that are going to be already, they're going to be marks. Last time we just gave them blank papers and they put their their blocks down. Okay. Um, this time we're going to have a very detailed on what it is. Um, the 10, we might use colors first. We might use some blocks first. Just okay. different ways to show them that this is, you know, out of these 26, I might have 10 yellow, 10 blue, and the 6 might be orange to show them once we line them up. So they have a visual. So visual, mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, awesome. Okay. What 
what surprised you the most out of this lesson? Um, one is that the kids were willing to help the other ones who didn't get it. Okay. Um, they asked great questions. I wasn't the one teaching. Within their groups, they were teaching one another, and that allowed us to get a lot more data because we weren't the ones talking. They were. Mm -hmm. It was a collaborative effort amongst them. Um, was it perfect? No, I know I have to shake things up a with a couple students, but overall, it was a great learning experience for them. Okay. So that small group, I know I didn't get to see the lesson that you did for the whole group, mm -hmm. um, because I know this group most likely got the yes. big group stuff, and yes. then you went to the small group. We did. We did the core instruction first. I left all steps up so they had a visual to look keep look back to. Okay. Um, and I did see the kids look up at that. Those kids who need that visual. Okay. Um, so that was yeah. something that was helpful for for numerous students. Okay. What new insights did you do you have based on the data that you collected? Well, one, we have that intense group, but two, I also have a group of students who will probably need something beyond just this counting ten. Mm -hmm. So we are going to set up story problems or give them a, a various um, blocks and have them create story problems. We're going to model it first. One of us will model that with that group and then move on. But just to give them something challenging and then um, to have... Um, those guys share, we might use some of their stuff later on. Okay. Great. So I heard next steps are story problems. Yeah, but we have to create something for the high, those who, yeah. who really, looking at this, understand it and can teach it to others. So I need to find something challenging for those. Um, I, for the students who didn't get it, we're going to set up um, different visuals for these um, students who need the intense instruction. Okay. And those who did get it, we might do um, shake it up a little bit with some bigger numbers. Okay. So everybody has something a little bit different. Okay. Great. All righty. Any other, I mean, I this was my area of strength. Okay. Um, as you look at the standards, is there okay. anything else you would want me to add or um, as you think about you know this lesson? Um, just the monitoring because it, it, it's going to help us okay. kind of drive what we're going to do towards the end of the week because we're going to have them share it to make sure they understand. I mean, not only do they have to do it, we're going to have them talk about it. Here's what we had, here's what we did. So we know they understood it, not just by doing it, but by telling us how they did it. Explain their... Mm -hmm. um, Reasoning to get their answer, their steps. So explain that metacognition mm -hmm. piece. I want to make sure that that's part of it. So because then you get the vocabulary in there too. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. Okay. So a growth area or an area that um, I do want to work on, or I want you know, mm -hmm. give you support on is. The variety of strategies you're using with kids. Okay. You have a spectrum in your room. Yes. Um, so, as I think through this lesson um, and, and recall, mm -hmm. there were um, there were some strategies. Yes. Visuals would have been strategies. Yes. We're going to use um, the computers or the tablets to have the kids, you know, type out their story problems. And share them within a within our class mm -hmm. um, website. Okay. I have one student who's autistic, so I'm trying to find some more sensory type things that I might need some help with. Okay. Um, if you could yep. help me locate some of those, that would be great. kind of talked about this, what surprised you the most, or what? how did you feel the lesson went? Overall, I think it went well. Okay. I think I could have done a little better on vocabulary um, when we first taught the core lesson, uh, when Jackie and I first taught the core lesson, 
and I probably, I left the steps up there, but I probably would have highlighted some of the vocabulary. So when they go to you, or to verbally explain it, um, we re they, I want them to remember these are the words we're, we need to be using. Okay. Okay. I think that's a good next step, too. Okay. Something to just expand that lesson. Um, you've kind of talked about, you, you've got some ideas for vocabulary, mm -hmm. visuals. I like how you're bringing in the technology. Okay. Um, can Jackie bring any additional strategies to the table that you can think of? She has because she did brought in some graphic organizers to help the kids go step by step okay. and um, kind of modeled how the how they're going to explain their reasoning. Okay. So she um, did a great job on bringing that additional resource in. Okay. Good. So what do you think your your next steps? Um, it's amazing how some of these questions I generate lead, I mean, they, they yeah, answered <laughs> several, but um, as you move forward, I'm just going to kind of recap what I heard. Okay. Um, you are going to really identify um, a more intensive group. Correct. Um, do some reteaching, modeling, using a lot of visuals, mm -hmm. technology. Yep. Um, sensory items. Yes. Um, Jackie helped with graphic organizers, so that's another strategy. Um, and you're going to go. You're going to go on both spectrums. You're going to go with the kids that are not struggling, right? And develop those story problems and create activities that have higher rigor, right? And those that are fall in between, I'm going to shake it up a little bit with those guys too, because I want them to. I want to see what their thinking is. So. It's going to be a little bit of both the higher and the lower put into theirs and see how they develop as a group with additional resources put in. Okay. I also, one thing would um, I want to do is make sure they understand how they can use it in the real world. Okay. Explain why we're doing this okay. and understand, you know, how they can even go to the store and take their money and count by tens or, you know, if they have a bunch of stuff at home. I want to make it real for the real world. Correct. Okay. Um, I think as um, next steps, as far as your responsibilities go, what are you thinking? Um, beyond my groups? Mm-hmm. Okay. Beyond my groups, I'll probably... Um, Continue to work on my, take that information and put it up on my data wall. Okay. Um, I'm going to share stuff with my colleagues and then do some observations with them to see if they've used it because we're all kind of trying to teach the same objective. Okay. Um, and you had talked about earlier professional development opportunities. If there's something I could, if you have something that I can, you know, learn from that, that would be great. Okay. And I'm going to continue to give you that feedback and the okay. support that you need and also free you up um, to get over to Council Bluffs and see those data walls so okay. we can get moving on this. That would be helpful. Okay. Thank you. Anything else? No. I'm okay. really excited to get started. Okay. Thanks again. You bet.